In late May of 2017, I drove north to the small main town of Rockwood on the western shore of sprawling Moosehead Lake. Rockwood also sits at the mouth of the Moose River, which flows from Brassaw Lake and happens to host some fantastic landlocked salmon fishing in the spring and fall. It's here that I met then 79-year-old Russ Terrio, a registered Maine guide who has been fishing the river since he was four. The humble, soft-spoken Terrio took me fishing along the moose's upper stretch in his vintage wood canoe, and it wasn't long before I landed one of the river's gorgeous landlocks, which enter the river each spring to feast on smelt that are filtering out of Brassaw Lake. That 21-incher turned out to be the only fish of the trip, but the much bigger thrill was being guided by one of Maine's true fishing icons. Later in the afternoon, I had the chance to chat with Terrio on the dock of his riverfront home, where we discussed his many days on the river and the changes he's witnessed over the years. Hi, Tom Richardson for New England Fishing, and I am here with a true Maine legend, Russ Terrio. He, is, he has been guiding on the Moose River for some 66 years, and he's still doing it. And um, Russ, t tell us, how did you get, how did you, when did you first start fishing this river? Huh. I started fishing when I was about four years old. Uh -huh. My father used to put three of us in the canoe and we'd go out and troll and uh, that meant we could have four limits. <laughs> oh really? Because there's ten kids in the family and we needed the fish mm -hmm. to eat. Yeah, so you ate a lot of fish. Yeah, you ate a lot of from fish. From this river. From this river. <laughs> And uh, so, did you were, there, were you always fishing for salmon, or were there other species that you also caught in here? Uh, there was trout, mm -hmm. like uh, lake trout. So lake and, trout would come in salmon. the river. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, they'd be in here in the spring and in the fall. Yeah, and you don't really see that anymore, do you? No, not the not the lake trout. Mm -hmm. Get one once in a while. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your first guided trip experience. Yeah. What was that like? Uh, I was hired when I well I got my permit from the warden. He signed a paper saying I could guide, and I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, the head guide was an Indian woman from the fish hatchery between here and Greenville. And they put me in a rowboat and with oars and two people <laughs> down at the village. And they wanted to fish up the river. So I rowed them up to the mouth of the river. <laughs> I never did make it up in the river. <laughs> I did get a lot of blisters that day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll bet you did. Yeah, but you know, good exercise, right? That's what's kept you looking so young and uh, so long lived. So, you know, rowing will do that for you, right? Yeah. Tell us about your, you know, your experience in, experience with the, the record canoe. Yeah. You know, have you always used a record canoe? Or? Uh, yeah, uh, my brother had one. My oldest brother had one and uh, when he left, he gave me his canoe. He left for Connecticut uh, to work, and he gave me his canoe with guiding dishes and uh, mm. and his share of my camp mm. for seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Have you seen yeah. the fishery change a lot over the years? Oh yeah, mm. yeah. The size of the fish and uh, the volume of the fish and the that's, river that's and the lake. both gone down. Yeah, they've gone down. Mm -hmm. The size has gone down quite mm -hmm. a lot. Do you think that's due to fishing pressure or, or what? No, I don't think so. Uh, you really don't have the pressure we had back then. Because mm -hmm. people yeah. aren't allowed to take that many fish, no, quite frankly, no. right? And the size no. limit, you well, know. Back uh, when I started, it was seven and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you get one fish. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, uh, what do you think that causes, causing the change? I really, really don't know. You know, I don't know if the species... Uh, or the forage the fish, forage. maybe? No, there no. seems to be a plenty of forage. Mainly they, smelt, they, right? They've got the smelts yeah. uh, heavy in, in the lake now. Mm -hmm. They put eggs in and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. netted and put more smelts in. Right, so it's not, so it's not that. So it's a, kind of a mystery, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, t tell me, what are some of your, I mean, you've been guiding for so long, and uh, you must really enjoy people, the company of other ang of anglers, right? I mean, is it, you meet some interesting folks? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone asked me one day, uh, you must uh, get some pretty tough people to guide. And I said, well, I can tell you one thing. I haven't guided anyone I wouldn't take out again. Oh, really? And all the time I've guided. I enjoy doing it with, with the kids, mm -hmm. teaching them, and uh, the old people like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you, now, do you see, I mean, are, are, 
is there any issue with you know a new new generation younger people coming into the sport? Do you see fewer and fewer younger people? Yeah, do, not as many kids. Yeah, yeah. This river used to be lined with kids in the summertime, and you hardly see any of them. There. Really? Yeah, that's a shame. Um, so yeah, it's sort of the you know the, a dying breed almost of uh, the the traditional you know sportsmen. Back in the fifties and sixties, you'd get a party for two three weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh really? And sometimes, uh, like my father, he'd get probably three parties and he guided all summer. Mm -hmm. Just those three parties. Really? They come for a month or yeah. more. Yeah, so, yeah. You've, so you might, but you must get to be good friends with a lot of your clients, right? Oh, they, yeah. They come, yeah. How, what's, the, what's the longest uh, a single client has been guiding or has been fishing with you? I have, have a friend that, uh, well, we became good friends. Mm -hmm. He's 90 years old, and I've been with him 23 years. Wow. And uh -huh. he, he only missed one year in the 23 years. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, he, speaking of missing a year of fishing, I, I hear that you've only missed one year, right? Only one yeah, year in all the, all your years of fishing this river. I was four years old, I've missed one year I didn't fish this river. Uh -huh. And that was the year I was in the service overseas. Mm -hmm. right. now, now, you've been, now you, you've been to different places you've been up to Canada to fish and other places right um, but what do you think about this place oh I, I wouldn't give this up in a bat <laughs> really no, no, out I, of all the places all in the, world. the places I've gone up the river with my canoe without even a fly rod or anything just go up and anchor and sit mm -hmm. Wow well it's a special place and I thank you for for uh, for hosting me and showing me this beautiful river that you've uh, gotten to know so well. <laughs> well, I enjoyed you people. Thanks a lot, Russ. Thank you.